Switch from Cube Tier, and today um, I have an unboxing from Speed Cube Shop. Um, so in here should be the X Men Wing Ace Cube, and the I believe it's the Function um, Fisher Cube. I think it is. I don't know. I might be wrong. Um, but anyways, ugh, that's cool. So let's open this up. I slid it a little bit um, before starting the video, so that it would be easier to open. Oopsie doopsie, sorry about that. So, here, one sec, let me get this open real quick. Okay, so we're all open. Um, that was the, like, uh, that was the, what was I going to say? That was the um, receipt. Here is the fish cube, and here is the cube. So, yeah, um, nothing else inside here. Uh, you can't see that anyways. Um, so, yeah, here we go. So I think we're gonna, oh my goodness, sorry guys, this is being really weird today. Um, I think we're gonna start off with the fish cube, um, which is cool. So let's just push this open, put the package, I don't care about you. Um, and here we are. So yeah, let's get that out, and then no pamphlets or anything, which is very surprising with cubing companies these days. Um, they seem to be giving out a lot of pamphlets. Pan, 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 pan. <laughs> Pamphlets. Let's open this up. There we go. This looks really cool. The sticker shades and stuff. And they are brighter. Um, a screen that um, orange looks a little bit dull. I know. On the screen. So here we are. So if you guys do not know what a Fisher cube is, it is basically three by three. But you would slice off right along here. 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 And here, and then you would um, take this corner piece that you just cut off and put it on this edge, and it gives it this look. So it actually, um, regardless of turning like this, how normal 3x3 would, it actually turns like this, because this is actually um, a center right here, and this is actually an edge, which is weird. It's hard to get used to. Um, I do not have a Fisher cube yet, I have a Fisher twist which is a Fisher Cube, but twisted. It's one of the Iton's Twist Cubes, but I do not have a Fisher Cube yet. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, turns pretty good. It's pretty lube though. A lot of, um, fair amount of lube on the outside. So yeah, like this is a T-perm, even though it looks a lot like a Y-perm, like, but you can't turn this F-layer. So it's actually a T-perm, which is really weird, but this is gonna be really fun to solve, I think. So yeah, now on to the wing. So you're gonna open this up, and it comes in this really nice um, plastic crate, which I do like. That's very high quality. And I know this is like a really late unboxing if I were gonna get this cube, because it's really pretty old cube now at this point. My goodness, this is not working. Um, so yeah, pamphlet. If you guys did not know, the wingy cube is a concave cube. Which, first of all, is weird. And then it has magnets, which is cool. So, yeah, very nice box. Um, here's the cube. Very, um, seems a little slow of the box, but good. Definitely my main run of the box. I know I said that my main for the, um, Green Lakes Championship would be my Moe Magnetic. But I, um, I'm changing that now, so updated. It's a little fast, it seems like, when I'm doing this sledge. Um, and I'm doing the... I don't know, um, I'm doing the hedge of it, I don't know, I don't know, it was just a little weird, so, yeah, that's cool, um, yeah, just take some getting used to, just the turning style of it, um, yeah, so it's, as you guys can see, it's concave, I don't know if you want to see that, but, so basically it gives it a little better of a grip for your hands, which will be cool, um, and so, yeah, one thing I noticed about the packaging, when they, no, not wrong box, um, when they package this thing, what they made it look like. It was a cube, which I forgot to mention when I was unboxing it. Let me just put this back in here to show you guys. Is there. There we go. See, it kind of looks like a cube, but the corners are bigger than the center. I don't know. I just kind of noticed that. Um, so yeah, these cubes are both really cool. That's weird lighting right now. Come on, let me see if that'll fix it. Uh, that's a little better, I guess. Um, so yeah, these are both really cool. Um, yeah. 
So I'm really excited to get used to these cubes, test them out, especially on the Fisher cube. It'll be fun to solve. And this one, I'm really excited to kind of break it in and just get it all fast and stuff so I can hopefully improve my time some. Now this does have a one of the logos that can't peel off, which stinks. So I'll either have to use Lego Boy C3's tutorial, which is putting sugar on it. I suggest you guys go look that up if you're having trouble getting your um, logos off from Chi Cubes or any other cube company. Um, what, but what I found out you can also do is um, it kind of scratches it a little bit, but if you put a logo of it over it, you won't, you won't see it really. Um, you can use a screwdriver to do it, which is what I've done with all my other cubes that have logos on them and I need to get it off. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this unboxing. Thanks for watching and see you later.